What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. New England Patriots quarterback Cam Newton has been diagnosed with COVID-19. The former 2015 MVP was enjoying a renaissance season with his new team, leading them to a 2-1 record as they were slated to take on the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs tomorrow at Arrowhead Stadium. Cam Newton was in the early discussion for the MVP, along with Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers, was having a great, great three games. The team could have easily been 3-0 as they were one play away from defeating the Seattle Seahawks when they had the ball at the one-yard line with two seconds left, and Cam Newton was unable to punch it in as he was upended before he was able to cross the goal line and get him to that victory, which would have put the team at 3-0. It's a sad thing to hear because Cam Newton is one of my favorite players to watch in the NFL. I love watching him play ever since he played in Carolina for the Carolina Panthers. Ever since then, before then, he was playing for the Auburn Tigers as he led that university to a national championship. This guy is just a must-see TV in my eyes. Man, love to watch this guy run and throw the ball. He's uh, like a, a big tight end out there running down the field. He's hard to bring down. And he's just a guy that's uh, box office. He's must-see TV, in my opinion. I, I felt that way when Michael Vick was playing uh, in the NFL, man. Must-see TV. Michael Vick, uh, to a lesser uh, time, RG3, when he played for the Washington uh, Redskins. Injury play, injuries cut uh, short his... Uh, career as far as uh, being a star level quarterback. He's right now backing up uh, Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. So I just I just uh, hate to hear this news, man. My thoughts and prayers go out to Cam Newton and his family. Hopefully he'll have a speedy recovery. But this is just, this is just another example that this COVID-19 doesn't discriminate, doesn't care how much money you make, doesn't care about your past accomplishment, don't care about how famous you are. It, it, it's, it's just a very highly contagious virus that's easily spreads. So just hopefully that uh, Cam Newton will be able to uh, recover quickly from this. Hopefully uh, he's uh, his family is okay. And I just hate to see this happen, man. But this is uh, something that uh, we got to uh, understand that's part of uh, everyday life now. As, we, as we've heard numerous times, countless times, of different celebrities different uh, entertainers, different athletes catching this deadly virus that we call COVID-19. So again, uh, I heard this uh, over the wire on ESPN.com. I was looking on my phone and I saw it go come across my uh, phone saying that Cam Newton has been diagnosed with COVID-19. It's a sad thing to hear, but it's just a friendly reminder that we all need to do the proper safety procedures to prevent the deadly spread of COVID-19. That is wearing a mask. Now, I'm not wearing a mask right now, but I'm in the car right now. I'm by myself. As soon as I get out this car, I'm going to put a mask on if I'm uh, coming in contact with any other person. I'm going to put a mask on. But you've got to put a mask on if you're in, if you're in a, a contact or in the proximity of a, any, any persons or people. You've got to wear that mask. And you've got to social distance. At least be six feet apart. Try to stay away from large gatherings. If you've got to be in a large gathering, make sure that you have a mask on. And make sure that that you keep six feet apart. And if you can't keep six feet apart in gatherings, you probably don't need to go to a large gathering if it's not a way that you can uh, safely separate from other individuals. But again, uh, Cam Newton uh, was having a great three games with the uh, New England Patriots. Their offense was one of the best rushing offenses in the NFL. He was getting ready to uh, go against another MVP in Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 MVP in Patrick Mahomes. And uh, it was going to be the battle of the MVPs. It was a marquee matchup, probably the best matchup for week four of the NFL season. 
but now it's getting pushed back to Monday or Tuesday. Now, I find it kind of hard to believe that they'll be able to play that game Monday or Tuesday. They're going to have to test other players. If Hopefully, no other players on the New England Patriots uh, team gets uh, diagnosed with COVID-19. But if that is if that's the case, then that's a good thing. Maybe they can play Monday or Tuesday. But if that's not the case, and if other players are infected, then uh, they're going to have to push that game down the road some way. Because if that game is played Monday or Tuesday, Cam Newton won't be playing in that game. Because it's known that if you infected with the virus, that you have to go 14 days of quarantine. You have to quarantine for 14 days. So that's going to take Cam Newton out the picture for not only this week, but for next week too. And a week after that. So he could uh, potentially miss the next two games after this week. I'm not talking about this game against Kansas City because he just got diagnosed with it today. So you're talking about another two weeks. So today is what, uh, the second? My bad, today is the third, right? So you're talking about at least to the 17th. So that'll take him out of the picture to week 10, week, uh, week, uh, week 5 will be the 11th, right? Week 6 will be the 18th. So that'll take him out the equation to at least week 6. Week six of the NFL season. So this is a, a a vital blow to the New Orleans Patriots organization, but they still have the best coach in football in Bill Belichick. Guy that's sitting there with six Super Bowl rings, and he'll be making the proper adjustment. Look to see uh, backup quarterback Brian Hoyer step in in Cam Newton's absence and try to keep the boat afloat until Cam Newton's able to get back on the field. But again, Cam Newton has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Again, my thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family. And hopefully no other New England Patriots teammates or employees or front office personnel gets uh, infected with this COVID-19 either. Also, hopefully they don't get infected with this deadly virus either. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what transpires. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. Ah, uh -huh.